back when I was a kid, I played soccer and a lot of other sports, basketball, cross country. You know, really was just a regular kid playing three sports a year. College sports really shaped my life. And at some point during my sophomore year, I had a knee injury, like so many other people do. Just a simple injury required a simple surgery, just a meniscectomy, and I was back on my feet in no time, feeling pretty good. And then the next year, I sustained another injury to the same knee and retore that same meniscus. Soccer was my whole life growing up. All I want to do is play soccer, and all I want to do is be fit and active. That's my identity. That's how I feel comfortable, confident. That's how I de-stress. I went and had another surgery, and at that point, I got about four weeks of relief, and then my knee just went downhill very, very, very fast. The surgeon I got referred to, Brian Cole, is one of the world's experts when it comes to tissue transplants and meniscus transplants. And I ended up having that first transplant a couple weeks before starting medical school, which was very interesting because I started medical school on crutches and was kind of that person who everyone had to wait for and, and whatnot, and really learned what it's like to be a patient. I had an opportunity to go spend a year at Rush and work with allografts, and I had just had an allograft in my knee. So to me, this was a great way to merge all of these interests. And that year, I, you know, I tell people that was the catalyst. That changed my whole perspective on academics, on medicine, on what we can do. My first exposure to JRF ortho was as a patient. I've had a total of seven surgeries on this knee. My knee is phenomenal, and you know that's I, it, it, I'm so grateful because these these transplants have really made it possible for me to stand 12 plus hours in the OR and not worry about it. And having that passion where you've experienced it yourself, you know firsthand the benefits of this gift of tissue transplants. You've experienced it. I have that perspective, and I think that's the difference that allows me to chat with these patients. I think on a more personal level, as opposed to pure doctor patient. I think they, they like that, I think they come to appreciate that because they are going through something very difficult and I want them to see the light at the end of that tunnel. You know, I'm trying to live active, be as, as fit as I can, do what I can with this tissue and, and live the life that I identified with for the first two decades of my life, which was as an athlete, as a soccer player. And now I've transitioned from being a soccer player to trying to be a triathlete, and that's less demanding on the tissue, and it keeps me fit, keeps the tissue, I think, healthy, protected, and active. And so you do your best by honoring that gift every day, living it to the fullest, trying to respect the tissue, use it. That's someone who's chosen to donate, whether it's donating for educational purposes and research purposes, or donating to help people get transplants. It's the same sacrifice. It's in my knee, I'm living with it, I love it. I've gone through ups and downs with it. Now I have a personal motivation to push the envelope with research and a personal motivation to become the best possible surgeon I can be.